Yo, what up? This time we'll be going over Spec Ops The Line, so stick around and enjoy. Not to argue, but this ain't exactly within our mission parameters. Yeah, well, our mission went from recon to rescue the minute we found U.S. soldiers butchered. Fucking orders. I like it. Orders ain't worth following if it means leaving people to die, Lugo. Conrad's still alive. I think he is. I know he'd agree with me. Tracks end here. Guess this is the nest. Yeah, it's quaint. Very post-apocalyptic. Right, so, Spec Ops Line was created back in 2012 uh, by Studio Jaeger Development and Dark Side Studios, I believe. Um, like it's a third-person shooter game. Fucking, uh, I think the last one in the Spec Ops series. Uh, I've only ever played one other, and that was a while ago. I think it was like a 20, 2002, so at PlayStation 1 and shit, so it's been a minute. But I decided to play this, because I noticed this, uh, we're on some people's uh, controversy list of uh, 2012 and shit, and I get why uh, towards the middle of the game. If you haven't seen it, you can check some of those lists out. Um, basically, that scene where they spray fucking... Uh, what was that shit? F fucking the uh, white fucking. I forget the name of it, but it melts people's skin off. It's basically hot as fuck, and it just keeps burning as long as oxygen is near it. So that shit was crazy. So I, I decided to buy it. It was on sale, and started playing that shit. And uh, I gotta say, um, the game surprised me. Even though I already knew what was going on, the the first half of it, the second half surprised me. I was definitely impressed. Well, let's get into the game and the mechanics and the characters and all that shit. So, of course, you play as uh, Captain Walker, and uh, he's basically the command of this Delta unit. Then you have you have uh, fucking uh, Sergeant Lugo, this uh, funny-ass motherfucker, and then you have Lieutenant Adams. So those are the guys you are. You, like I said, you play as Walker. Um, the game play itself, it uses like cover mode and shit, and the AI, I was impressed how accurate the AI is. Like, I was playing on the hardest mode I can, because the hardest mode cannot be unlocked until you finish the game. But, um, they were fucking dead on, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna switch the, the difficulty just to see, and that, uh, still, they still shoot me perfectly. It takes like, four rounds and you're dead. So, taking cover is a must. Ah, uh, picking up weapons. Oh, I love that. I love that you can pick up other guys' weapons. Oh, not many games do that nowadays. Uh, so I like picking up, like, shotguns and fucking AKs and using that shit on them. And it's fucking fun. The other thing is, you can only carry two weapons. So that was kind of lame. Yeah. And throughout the world, there's little fucking things you could find that explain Thought I'd make it the you. whole way without screaming. Hacked my way through the sandboarding. Even bit my tongue when they brought out the knives. But the fire, damn it, I screamed like you wouldn't believe. I'm disappointed, but at least now I understand the breaking. Oh yeah, you can find those pieces of intel, and the, you don't have to read it, so that's awesome. Uh, like I said, the cover system's okay, it's kind of uh, outdated nowadays compared to the new cover systems they have out, but that's cool. So you die easily, so I die right there. I also like that you can flip over turrets. I don't think I've played a game like that, where you can flip them out around all the way and fast. So that's pretty fun. I mean, no many games do that. I don't know why. Not even today, really. But anyways, so another thing I liked about this game was uh, the floor killing. You know, when you fucking take down an enemy and you actually kill them. There's different kinds, and later on throughout the game, I think when the character gets more psychologically unstable, he'll do some crazier ones, trust me. And of course, uh, basically, I'm just going a little bit in the story. You're just going to this place, Dubai, I think, or whatever, somewhere in the Middle East. You're sent there to recover and find uh, this general who took the fucking some uh, one of his companies or battalion, and they're missing. And all of a sudden, you get there, and this battalion starts shooting at you. And like, what the fuck, dog? So you, you get to kill Middle Easterns and American soldiers in this game. So that's fucking awesome. You know, that that's crazy. You don't see that in many games. Not since uh, you play as that terrorist in fucking Medal of Honor. You remember that game? Yeah. So anyways, uh, basically this place is covered with fucking sandstorms and shit. It looks great, though. It looks amazing. It looks like a sea of sand. 
Like, wow. I could probably say Sand is another character in this game. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this is that white shit I was talking about. I forget the name of it. It's just on the tip of my tongue, but... Fucking... Fo white Phosphorus. There we go. Fuck. I don't know. I so forgot that. But, yeah, you see that shit burning them? And that's basically the big controversy in this game, because there's a mission where you get to use it, and you accidentally kill a bunch of civilians. And, yeah. And, oh, there it is, the Sand. I'm telling you, man, Sand is like a big-ass character in this game. It fucks you up whenever it can. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, like I was saying the story, you go through all that. Uh, you run into CIA agents there. They're doing their own CIA shit. You can help some of them, because then, you know, those guys from the, that company, that battalion that went missing, it starts shooting at you, and you have no choice but to shoot back at them. And trust me, you kill a lot of those motherfuckers. But basically, I mean, that part was fun and all, you know? But the thing that was more badass about this game was probably halfway point where that that issue happens with the white foster and you kill people well oh shit what the fuck was that anyways that part kinda changes captain walker's mind and this a game that becomes an action shooting game becomes more of a fucking hysteria fucking crazy like is this real is this happening kinda game and like I, I felt that was awesome. Many shooting games don't turn into that, and still retain the shooting aspect. I mean, you look at Outlast. You know that shit was a mental fuck. Where you cannot shoot people in that shit. In this one, you can. So it, it gets starting crazy. It's just like Fear halfway down, the Fear game. Yeah. But um, I gotta say though, this game was great. Uh, replay value, probably not. Just to see the ending. The endings. Whew. I picked the most badass ending. All right. I'm not going to spoil it so you guys can play it, but uh, overall, man, this game, pretty good, especially how cheap it is nowadays, and if you buy it on sale, definitely worth your money. Uh, fucking, they did a great job on this game, uh, had fun playing it, fucking Jaeger Development and Dark Side Studios, man, you guys did a good job, fucking thanks 2K for, you know, publishing it, always great actually games from them. Um, yeah, definitely go out and buy this, or download it, or whatever, but you guys gotta play this game, alright, I definitely give this game a fucking, I'm gonna give it, okay, if this was back in the day, I would give it a 9 out of 10, but since it's degraded and I've played it, you know, it's old now, I have to give it an 8 out of 10, but it's still a good, solid 8, alright, so thanks for it, uh, watching this, hope you enjoyed, I'll put up more reviews out later, see ya.